Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to WillieHow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. So last week we did a quick introduction to the Grandstream uh, Wi-Fi 6AP, and this week we're doing a quick introduction. I know a lot of other people have already done videos on these, but this is the Unify 6 Lite AP. So it is the same form factor as the uh, Unify uh, Nano HD and the Unify AC Lite. So it's that, that same, and I had a couple of them floating around here. I don't know where they went, but they're pretty much the same size. They have the same uh, mount. So this is Wi-Fi 6, meant to be mounted indoors, uh, has mesh capability, um, 2.4 gigahertz, um, we can get 300 megabits on that, 1200 megabits on the 5 gigahertz. Supposed to have 300 plus users. It is a uh, 2 by 2 uh, Wave 2, it's uh, also uh, Moo Mimo. You can get skins for this. It, uh, you can see that mounting bracket, and it does only have a single gigabit Ethernet port. And then you've got a reset button over there, and this um, is 802.3 AF PoE powered. So we're going to plug this in. We're going to adopt this in real quick to my UDM Pro. I'll hook my phone to it. We'll do a, a quick speed test. And then in the next video, we are actually going to do some side-by-side -side comparisons with this in the grand stream. So I will be right back. Okay, so I've got the uh, device uh, powered up. It's got a white light. You can't see it. Real quick, just for size uh, reference, it is slightly smaller than the Grand Stream. Not much. Uh, but, as you can see, it is pending adoption in the controller. It looks like it's got a firmware update as well. We're going to go ahead and adopt it real quick. And then, of course, it also wants us to add a Wi-Fi network. I don't have a Wi-Fi network set up yet. Um, but you can see it is updating and downloading. I now have a, uh, a blue ring, so it is going to go ahead and upgrade the firmware. So we're going to let it do that. While we, do, while we let it do that, we're going to go into our settings. And we are going to go into wireless networks. We'll create a wireless network. And we're just going to call this UI-6. It will be directly connected to our LAN network. It's going to be WPA personal. And then we're just going to let uh, make this let me in 21. Uh, we're going to leave pretty much everything else default, just like we did for the, uh, for the grand stream. So, and then in the AP group, I'm going to, you know, say all APs. Now, one thing I don't know is if I should wait for the AP to actually get done upgrading. So it is still upgrading. We'll give it, uh, we'll give it just a second. You can see some of the other devices that I've got here. I've got that Flex. Switch, it needs an upgrade. Looks like all of my uh, switches need an upgrade. And then I have the L3 test switch. So I've got a video coming on the uh, Layer 3 switch. There's some showstoppers for larger installations there that you should know about. So in this uh, this pop-up, the only thing it'll let me do is it will only let me go to settings. This <laughs> this pop-up is, is not, it's not going away, man. So we'll go to settings. We'll go ahead and we'll add this. We'll do the UI-6. And we'll do the uh, AP is actually power cycling. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Let's take a look at the devices. So even after I... Even after I added that, why the, the Wi-Fi network, the pop-up, still isn't going away. So, 
uh, right now the device doesn't have a light on at all. Okay, so now it's blinking. It's blinking white, so it should be. I don't know if you can see that on there or not. Uh, it should be ready any second. Put my other AP back down here. Do find that weird that uh, let me kill these lights real quick and see. Oh yeah, now you can see see the ring and uh, you can see that it still says updating. Now we're provisioning. I wonder if when we're provisioned, if that uh, pop-up's going to go away. We'll see what happens. Doesn't look like it though, but let me see. I'm going to see if on the phone if I can see the wireless network. Not yet. Still provisioning. Taking its time. Still provisioning. Okay, so now I can see UI6, so let me connect to that. It was let me in 21. Obtaining IP address. Connected. That's a good sign. So let me open up my speed test. Just like we did for our other AP. And we will see what kind of speeds we're getting. Now obviously I'm still sitting super close to this AP. Um, maybe too close. I need to move it because I'm not getting... So I'll put it exactly where the grand stream was. So it is down there. So I'm going to try this test again because the first time it failed. All right, so we're connecting and the AP is now, you know, a meter uh, from me. Um, let's see. And for some reason, I am not connected to it anymore. I don't know if we had a, a glitch with our switch. But uh, the AP actually shut off, so it is rebooting. And I don't know why I didn't touch the, uh, the power cord, so I'm going to just be very careful when I set it back down here. But... Uh, I'll wait until I get the blue light again. If I get the blue light again, that was really strange. So, I don't know. Let's see. We'll reconnect. And... Let's see. Okay, so now I'm reconnected to UI6. I got a blue light. The access point is like a meter away from me. So let's try this speed test again. And let's see what happens. So it's connecting. And yeah, we're almost at uh, three, 300 megabits on the download between 270. Well, so it ended up at 276. And then it uh, is pretty much maxing the upload there at about 45 to 50 megabits so same position over here as the grand stream um, I'd have to look back at those but we're gonna do we're gonna do where we're gonna have them um, uh, both hooked up and we're gonna do some side-by-side -side comparisons and then we are going to take a look at some of the uh, other Wi-Fi uh, utilities that we've got um, that we've got 
So I, I mentioned that Wi-Fi torture box. So you're going to see it's not really a torture box. It's more like an escape room, really. But, um, you know, if you're ordering APs and you're not waiting for Wi-Fi 6E, if you uh, are moving to Wi-Fi 6, I'm going to uh, do a video, <coughs> excuse me, on, you know, making sure your network infrastructure is ready and all those good things. And both of these APs are relatively inexpensive. So pick one up and play with it. And uh, let me know what you think about Wi-Fi 6. Are you looking forward to Wi-Fi 6E? Let me know what you think about all that down in the comments. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Those links are down below. We do have uh, clearly marked affiliate links down below. Uh, you don't have to use those links. It is appreciated when you do, and it does kick a couple bucks to the channel. So thanks you to those folks. I also have a Patreon link below if you'd like to support the channel that way. And if you need that IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and we'll get back with you. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.